I think graceful receiving is one of the most wonderful gifts we can give anybody. If we receive what somebody gives us in a graceful way, we've given that person, I think, a wonderful gift. This is my friend Jeff Erlinger. He's one of my neighbors here, and I asked him if he would come by today. I'd like to sing that to you and with you. Okay, okay? sure. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair. But it's you I like. The way you are right now. The way down deep inside you. Not the things that hide you. Not your fancy chair. That's just beside you. It's an honor to be here tonight, to be part of your proud moment, this proud moment. You know, when, when you tell people that it's you I, it's you I like, you, we know that you really mean it. And tonight, I want to let you know that on behalf of millions of children and grown-ups, it is you that I like. Mm, that feels good. Oh, there's Officer Clemens. Hi, Officer Clemens. Come oh, in. Officer Rogers, how are you? Fine. Won't you sit down? Oh, sure. Just for a moment. Oh, it's so warm. I was just uh, putting some water on my feet. Oh, it sure is. Would you like to join me? That looks awfully enjoyable, but I don't have a towel or anything. Oh, you share mine. Okay. Sure. But how do we make goodness attractive? by doing whatever we can to bring courage to those whose lives move near our own, by treating our neighbor at least as well as we treat ourselves, and allowing that to inform everything that we produce. Who in your life has been such a servant to you? Who has helped you love the good that grows within you. Let's just take 10 seconds to think of some of those people who have loved us and wanted what was best for us in life. Those who have encouraged us to become who we are tonight. Just 10 seconds of silence. I'll watch the time. no matter where they are, either here or in heaven. Imagine how pleased those people must be to know that you thought of them right now. <laughs> 